first of all, best practice number one, the companies should be marketing led. I think a lot of people think that these companies are built on a foundation of technology. That's like saying you're building your business around fast, fast friendly, convenient service. You better have fast, friendly, convenient service, and you better have bulletproof technology. What you really need to compete and to differentiate and win is bulletproof marketing. And good news, in the, in the age of the digital media economy, you can do all the segmenting and clustering and testing and learning that you could ever want. And most people are starting that in environments uh, like Facebook and Instagram where that kind of reach and targeting is available. So be marketing led is best practice number one. Best practice number two is measure what matters to you. A lot of times people come to us and say, what's the best way to light up uh, our brand on Hulu? And that's the wrong question. The right question is, what's the best way for Hulu to help meet my key objective or my goal or my KPI? For example, this chart um, shows that you know a frequently asked question is, what's the right frequency on Hulu? And the answer is, I'm not sure. What are you trying to do? If you want to drive people to your app or your front door and then you take over from there, we need less frequency as measured in the uh, green line, just a modest amount of frequency. If you want to put it on us to persuade and cajole and to drive people to be convicted to buy your product, we're going to need a little bit more frequency as evidence on the gray bar on the bottom. So again, it's really what's important to you, challenge publishers like us to meet your key objectives. Um, after you've gotten really good at social and search, you're going to say to yourself, let's go to TV, let's try video, and let's build a brand, let's tell our story. And video is the way to go for storytelling. Uh, at the risk of pointing out the obvious, TV and video is the best medium ever created for sight, sound, and motion storytelling. So you can use 15 and 30 second spots, you can use uh, short, um, longer form webisodic content, but you really need to start with video when you're uh, really trying to educate and tell your story. And when you do that, good news here is the laws of marketing have not been repealed despite the fact that you're a disruptor. There are many established best practices, and they might be obvious, but in your videos, you should have prominent brand cues. You should have a unified creative theme. It should appear as though your video comes from the same company that created your app and your web products and your Instagram feeds. Um, you should obviously have a clear call to action because that's what it's all about. And we have an exhaustive study, and if you want more more on that we can share. Uh, there's so much to learn about creative best practices. So when the first time out in video, you're not making any mistakes. And here's another best practice. When you do go to TV, my strong advice is to start with connected TV. You know, OTT, FEP, VOD, this is a BFD, right? <laughs> the reason this is so good is because everything you're comfortable doing in a browser space you can do in a connected TV space. All of the targeting and segmenting and clustering that you're comfortable with can happen beautifully and elegantly in the over the top, the full episode player, and the video on demand space. So that's really important. Another best practice, and I just heard Nick O'Brien, who's the CEO of Dentsu Aegis. He's got some of the biggest marketers in the world. His observation is that so much of the money is going against acquisition and branding, and he's seeing a lot of it start to creep down into loyalty and retention. And I think it's so easy to say, let's focus on the cost per subscriber, cost per sign up, cost per download, cost per acquisition, but don't forget once you get them in, you, loyalty is everything. When we talk about measurement that matters to you, one of the biggest measurement uh, metrics that matters to Hulu as a direct brand is churn. And you're gonna be obsessed with that too, so don't forget loyalty. Acquisition is easy, loyalty is hard, but if you can keep them in the fold, you'll drive your business.